Pallet makes provisioning enterprise-grade Kubernetes clusters easy across any target environment. Whether you're provisioning Kubernetes clusters on public cloud IaaS or using public cloud managed Kubernetes offerings, data centers, edge locations, including deploying directly on top of bare metal servers. Let's take a look at how easy it is to deploy on an on-premises data center using VMware with a few clicks using Pilot. From the Pilot Clusters page, click on Create Cluster. Name your cluster VMware Demo 1, next. Select VMware and choose a cluster profile such as Prod VMware. We can leave the default parameters and select next. Specify applicable cloud placement properties such as the cloud account, data centers, and others. Next, specify your Kubernetes node configuration, including the number of masters and workers. Specify two for the workers, select next. And for now, we'll leave all the day two management capabilities for RBAC management, conformance and security scans, and the backup restore as defaults. Select next, make sure everything looks okay, and then click on deploy. Cluster provisioning takes about 10 to 15 minutes depending on how many nodes are being provisioned and the number of add-on services added. Once the cluster is provisioned, we can see the health of the cluster, the Kubernetes version, and any deployed applications, along with a total CPU and memory request, as well as the cluster CPU and memory utilization. Pallet also provides many common day two management features from security and penetration testing to detailed workload visibility, backup restore, and many, many others. Provisioning into other clouds is just as easy and intuitive. Let's provision a new Amazon EKS cluster, name the cluster EKS1, next, and then select Manage Kubernetes EKS. From the cluster profile, we'll select Prod EKS, and again, leave the default settings. There are two modes of provisioning supported on Amazon. Dynamic provisioning, which creates the underlying infrastructure, such as VPC, subnets, and others, or static placement, where the Kubernetes cluster is provisioned onto existing infrastructure. For the cloud placement settings, select a cloud account, region, and SSH key. Select next and pick the instance type, T3x large. We'll skip over the day two management features, review the cluster, and if everything looks good, start provisioning. By modeling all the requirements of the Kubernetes cluster and the application services into a cluster profile, users are able to effortlessly provision and manage Kubernetes clusters in any environment with ease. This means less management time, faster access to Kubernetes, and less risk of something breaking down.